Hey guys, it's Kiana, and today I'm going to be doing a month long readathon. Actually, you know, I have this grand idea. Let's start from the beginning. So, I had this grand idea when I was watching Chandler's video and Lala from Books and Lala. And Lala is a creative genius, and I was like, Oh, oh my goodness, let me I have, a, I have an idea. So, they inspired me to. Um, do a kind of like after I finish reading a book and then review it at that particular time so I decided to do in since I'm participating in the hashtag arc um, August in the whole month of August so I plan on reading like five or six arcs which I mentioned in my TBR video which I don't even know is on this drive because I seem to have lost videos that I needed to update all on the drive that's all the things so that's hopefully I recorded it if I didn't oh well um so yeah I decided I was like hey okay so when I finish a book kind of update you guys like a vlog but like for a month long and I decided hey that's an awesome idea it's been cooking up for a while and I do when I saw those two videos I was like man I need to go ahead and just do it and so yes so I don't know what arc I'm going to start yet but next time that you guys see me I will update you guys on tell you guys what I read and how I'm liking it so far and then I'll do a wrap up when I finish the book and yeah you'll see me for the next 30 days but when you actually see this it'll probably be hopefully I can get it under 25 minutes <laughs> Future me is gonna be just laughing at just laughing at me. So. Okay, hey guys, it's Kian and it is day. Let me get my phone. It is day four of the hashtag Art August, and I just started <laughs> um, Paper or Plastic by Vivi Vivi Barnes, and I'm about sixteen percent into it. Um, it's intriguing me so far. I mean, it's going pretty slow. I mean, it's basic. Um, of a plot um, because the girl um, she stole a bracelet and so her best friend who you know I have this thing this gripe about friends horrible friends and like it's like now do you would you really want them to be your friends I don't understand why you actually have a friendship with this person and so both of her her friend convinced her but yeah, it was her choice to steal the bracelet, and so she now has to work at, work at this Smart Mart. So now it's kind of, I'm about 60% into it, and she's been, there. we've been introduced to um, the older uh, the older lady, um, Bessie, who is training her, as well as the girl that she made fun of, um, and recorded and made a viral video of. She now works with her, and also her best guy friend's enemy who told on her her guy best friend um, and kicked him off the team, all that stuff. So now she's at this point where, oh, should I actually be, can I actually talk to him? And like, would Bryce be okay with it? And I'm like, is Bryce your boyfriend? Because last time I checked, his, um, you're not, his, you're, he's not your boyfriend, he's your best friend's boyfriend. So, okay. So this internal struggle, I don't understand why she's going through it because it's really none of his business. Um, I can talk to whoever I want. But you know, she's an MC, she's a character, so can't get mad at her. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll update you guys when I'm about like 50% into it because I feel like maybe that's when I get into the nitty gritty of it. And I'll check back with you guys later. can't see me but I'm in frame I mean I'm not in frame but I am about 36% into what's the movie I mean that's the um, paper or plastic and I am trying
trying to decide if I want to bring my book for the used bookathon um, since it's over on the 9th and today the 7th. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But I am 36% into paper and plastic. And at this point, um, the main character, she has had an accident in softball practice and her mom is like this overly helicopter parent who loves her pageant sister more than her which is so odd to me or am i mixing up books wait a second <laughs> wait am i mixing up no i think yeah okay so yeah and um she is not liking it her mom is like being this super helicopter mom and her friends, she's she's at the point where she started to crush on her best guy friend's rival, and like I don't have a problem with it because I'm just like okay, cool. But like it's to the point where she's like, oh my god, is he going to? And we're gonna be friends, and I'm like, what? Why does why does why do you care so much? I, I just don't understand. Why do you care that much? It's like I don't think he would care that much. If he does, is he really your friend? So it's like, ugh, that's kind of annoying. That's probably the only gripe right now that I have about it. But um, I'm also listening to, I started with White Little Lies, but then I, the main narrator kind of killed it for me. So I think I'm going to probably wait for that and um, do that. And yes, so I'll wait for that. And meanwhile, you guys are like, why are you packing? I am leaving for Florida in about two to, for about two to three weeks, almost. Maybe kind of quite sort of. No, not two to three weeks. Like until the, almost the end of the month. So I need things to pack. I actually need things in this bag. Dog. Okay. Okay. The thing about packing, like I don't usually wait until the day before, but. Time has been losing me so yes um i'll check with you guys back in later say the seventh by the way um and i want to just cute little montage of me on the airplane and then me in my hotel room so see you in florida hey guys it's me yeah. and i'm back so i didn't i'm gonna actually record any footage in Florida but I'm back at home and I started a new job I got like my now you baby you get you like your first legit job with like not like little side gigs cuz I'm a side I love hustling on the side and doing photography all of those like small those jobs right there but it's great when I can actually like get a physical paycheck every two weeks and like be on someone's payroll and have my own cubicle. You guys, I am literally adulting. I feel so good about my life. Which is really sad, but like, I feel like it's really sad that we have society tells us, yeah, you have to be like this and this and have this and this. A husband and two kids and like a little white little picket fence by like the age of 20 something or whatever. And it's kind of ridiculous because it's like, whatever. My life did not go like that. <laughs> I own my own business and I'm going to work. Like, I didn't go to college, like, on time. Like, right after high school, I went to, to start a college at the age of 20. And doggone it, am I proud of that? I graduated with a 3.8. No, I didn't major into what I wanted, but I had to major into something that would make me some money. But yet, I'm still not in the job that I'm actually doing. I'm in, I'm like still getting my foot in the door, getting wet. So, which I like. I'm yes, but the good news is that besides, um, <clears throat> always procrastinating, um, I finished my first book for Ar Argus, which was the whole point of this vlog. And I'm about 67% now when I started. I'm so sleepy. I don't get off from work till like 5 now. 4, between 4 and 5. So Atlanta, if you know Atlanta, and you live or you visit Atlanta just because, um, 
it's like not even tiring to go home. That's the best part. The tiring part is sitting in traffic for no reason. It's like people just be looking. And I'm like, if you don't look, then we wouldn't have this problem. You feel me? Like, do you feel like, a, do you do you see what I'm putting out there? Do you see it? Because I do. And I feel like the traffic would go down if people just started riding bikes. Like your, your bins. So much easier and wasting gas and jacking up the air. Like, come on. Um, so I did finish the book. And I also continued reading a mystery thriller. That at this point, at 67%, I feel like I'm go have gone certifi certifiably in I finished the book. And so, as I was saying about the main character, because I'm getting sidetracked now. So, the main character is making me feel like I'm insane because she's taking these drugs. She's taking more of what she was subscribing. Her doctor is her therapist trying to get her off and lower the doses. But at this point, she's taking her best friend's drugs. Like, that really helps your case now. Um, and then she tries to wring herself off of her friend's drugs. Because, you know, maybe it'll help her figure out who killed her husband. Now, nah, it's making a little bit more money and messier. And I don't know what's real. I don't know what's fake. I keep, like, every time she goes into, like, this weird dream over magic, it's weird. Like, it's like... What just happened? I'm like, now, I literally question myself every time I'm like, so, was this her imagination? Or was this real? So, we're going to find out who killed her husband, was an accident, who done what. I'm also listening to a serial podcast hosted, um, produced by The American Life. I don't know if you guys watch, I mean, listen to that podcast, but I started listening to Serial because it's this case that... It's a story told week by week, and this particular season one, it's about this girl named Haylin, Heyman Lee, Hey Layman, I think that's her name, and she's supposed to pick up her niece or whatever, and she, no one heard of her, like she disappeared after that, and her family's freaking out, all this stuff, so they're literally dropped, they're breaking down the case. Um, and they suspect the ex-boyfriend, they suspect everyone. And a lot of the stuff is being really, really inconsistent. And it's like, I think it's based off of a real case, court case. But it's so interesting, because I was like... Like in one episode, you think he didn't do it. In the next episode, you're like, okay, he don't have it. There's not a case to even peg him as a murderer of his girlfriend. Like, what? It's very interesting. So I'm just gonna like, put it over here. And I'm going to try to link it in the eye. Um, yeah. So, I've been running behind my videos. Have you guys have seen. But, you guys, I'm always at, I'm almost at 100 subscribers. Like, I, I mean, I know that's not, like, a lot to some people. But I'm super proud. Because even though it's, like, I've been on BookTube for, like, legit, like, legit almost five years. Um, it's finally coming to fruition. If I can get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, fam, that will be a dream. But, you know, just throwing it out into the universe, so maybe it'll happen. <laughs> and, uh, yes, so that's the end of this. I feel like I've, ran I've rambled on too long. And um, I'm just going to include a random clip. If not, then I'll see you guys the next time I actually read something and update you guys on it. So, yeah, there you go. Hey guys, it's me. So, um, I totally didn't realize that, well, I forgot. I actually forgot to summarize and recap the book reviews for you guys and give you many book reviews for the, my overall books that I read for Hashtag Art August and to tell you I actually succeeded finally which I always kind of succeed at the arc August because it's the arcs and it's like it was a lot of arcs I needed to get rid of or finish reading not get rid of but finish reading and I read the four out of the six that I wanted to read so I am 
what have you. So the first book that I talked about earlier on in this vlog um, was Paper or Plastic and I rated that a straight four, just even four. Um, this was centered around a girl who stole a bracelet um, and based off of the bracelet that she stole, her mom was made a market store owner to for have her to work there to work off her her costs essentially or just really just to do volunteer work so it can help her build character and along the way she builds this fam familial bond with her workmates as well as the older lady who helps train her and then she also falls for her best guy friend's enemy who is not really an enemy who we find out later the story behind that and i really really loved this book it was a great book the pacing was great first it was a little bit slow as i mentioned and then as i started like reading more we got to get more to see the more more of the characters and their personalities and just to say i have this garb about best friends like horrible best friends and she had one in this book and I'm so glad. I was hoping that she cut her off but you can tell that their relationship wasn't the same um, because she became a different person as she began to work and get to know the her co-workers um, and they were more like her family and friends than her actual best friends and I really liked it. It was really cute. So the next book I'm going to be summing up is the mystery thriller I was telling you guys about that literally I thought that I was going insane because the book is focuses on this unreliable character that I mean you don't know if anything is real fake hallucination you don't know what it is because she's trying to take herself off these drugs but then she's taking the drug because she thinks she sees her dead husband but her husband is like dead and she's like I need to solve the mystery of who killed my husband and the twist at the end I feel like I should have seen it coming but like I didn't because I was like really focused and like trying to figure out and trying to wade through the fogginess of her mind because her mind almost became my mind I was like yo fam stop <laughs> you're hurting my brain and I'm trying to figure it out pick up the clues of the twist I wasn't expecting you probably I mean others who read it will probably would be expecting it maybe I don't know but because it was so, it was written so very, very well written and into someone who was picking up this grief, or not picking up this grief, trying to get over or going through this grieving period of her husband and like the thing that she had to, how she dealt with it and her trying to solve this case of her husband, I was like, yo, girl, oh my god. <gasps> I read this a, I think five. And I'm saying I read this to five. This is by um called Under My Skin by Luce, Lisa Kai Cougar Cougar. No, that's completely wrong. Lisa Uger. And I read this to five. I don't know why Bill Reeves is acting weird, as always. Um, and the next book I read was Fumble by Ashley. No, Alexa Martin, which is playbook number two. And you guys know I read about the first book. And I really really enjoy this one this was book four and this fan on um, this follows a second chance romance um with who's a single mother named poppy and she fell for the football this football player before he was a football player he became famous um for her for their like their town or city's um football team and she is she became she becomes 16 and pregnant at the time before he becomes way in their past and then nine years later hello little surprise he has a son but he doesn't know that that's his son until they come across each other and secrets happen and i mm, this was this is cute i was waiting for it to like i thought she was going to tell him earlier that like the pacing was actually really well and the characters I really enjoyed um I thought that they were it was going to happen a little bit like the thing that she her revealed to him was going to be a little bit I don't know earlier 
so then that they, that way we can kind of see their relationship more of it like we saw lots of it but like more of it um but it was really cute um of you know of how she did reveal it to him and then him trying to him bonding and wanting to bond with his son was the cutest thing i have ever seen in my in my life it was so, i mean right in my life it was so cute and my heart felt all type of things it was so cute and the third book is already out and i am so excited because that ending i was like i need them to have a book and they have a book and it is called let's see let's check the reads while i'm over here it is called blitzed and hopefully it's on that galley so i can request it but i'm also trying to get my net galley request down so we'll see um and then the last book that i read for hashtag arc august was on the rocks by candy steiner and you guys know how much i rave and love anything candy steiner does so why are we surprised um and i thought oh, this was gonna make me cry but it surprisingly didn't i mean i had like you know <laughs> and i like had water under my waterline it wasn't you know it wasn't too crazy of the you know cry session um, but the first line that opened referred to, it reminded me of a love letter to whiskey because it referred to Tennessee whiskey. And I was like, oh, we're not doing this. We are not doing this today. Um, I rated this a four out of five stars, I think. And this is centered around, the series is going to be centered around the Becker brothers, who their father, this is the first, the oldest son, Noah Becker. I think he's the oldest well whatever so noah becker and his brothers they are the becker famous becker brewery boys because their father is was the owner um of this brewery company and everyone in the town you know you will be drinking the becker like you know that whatever is like whatever alcohol is in the town that is produced by the famous becker brewery so noah he um the quote i love the, the synopsis it says noah becker is nothing but trouble that's what mama told me when i was a kid kicking his pew in church and giggling at the games we'll play it was what the town said when his father died and the becker brothers went wild and it's on repeat in my mind the day i walk into the whiskey distillery with the with the works to buy a wedding gift for my fiance so she walks in ruby walks in with a goal of buying her fiance who she becomes she comes to this realization after Noah asks her this one question that no one else has asked her like are you do you really are you really ready to get married like to this guy and then that's when everything starts tumbling and rolling down and she starts realizing like oh my goodness no one has actually asked me this question they just been I'm just been this piece to, they've been playing with the entire time and then things come to realization Noah and Grace are so cute. This also features an age gap romance. Um, yeah, age gap romance. I think they're like 20 years apart. But it's how it's Candy writes it. She always writes age gap romances beautifully. So you don't even realize it like, oh crap, well, they're like 20 something years difference or whatever X number years difference. She writes it so beautifully. The writing style, the pacing, the characters. I'm always in love with the characters. And it was just exciting. I just loved every moment. It was five stars for me. It's Candy Steiner. Why are we surprised at this? Um, I love the detail of them, of this, the memory or the details of uh, that Candy writes about the brothers making this in this whiskey distillery. It was amazing. I also love the bond he had with his brothers. We don't see that though that often. So I was in love loved it so much so i hope you guys enjoy my wrap-ups mini wrap-ups for the hashtag art august i hope you guys enjoy this reading vlog um if you guys kind of like more things like this let me know down below in the comments and i'll do that and i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you don't forget to subscribe comment and like um and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao <laughs>